you will learn what is proposition and hypothesis difference between proposition and hypothesis example of proposition and hypothesis what is proposition based on the existing literature in a field a theory is built based on this theory a set of assumptions are developed and from these assumptions a proposition is developed propositions are qualitative in nature what is hypothesis when we wish to convert qualitative analysis into a quantitative one we drive a hypothesis based on the proposition and use it to test the data sets difference between proposition and hypothesis propositions are findings of an inductive study on the other hand a hypothesis is deductive and tested later in the study propositions explore the study phenomenon which does not have prior empirical evidence whereas hypothesis takes place after propositions which is a testable statement about the theoretical relationship between two measurable variables in a proposition it is unclear about the nature of the causal relationship between two variables or concepts on the other hand the hypothesis indicates the nature of the relationship sometimes the direction of relationship concerning the target variable in proposition if the study phenomenon is out of the blue a quantitative investigation is necessary to formulate the proposition whereas in hypothesis during quantitative research hypothesis formulation is sufficiently provided that the study phenomenon is not out of the blue a proposition is just like to suppose something on the other hand a hypothesis can be tested theoretically and empirically examples of proposition and hypothesis example number 1 Let's suppose the observation in private schools provide better quality education. In the case of proposition, we will say private schools are providing better quality education. You can see it is exploring the study phenomenon. In the case of hypothesis, we will say private schools impart better quality education than government schools. You can see a testable statement between two measurable variables. Example number 2. Let's suppose the observation is children with divorced parents have emotional problems. In the case of proposition we will say divorce leads to emotional problems in young children. You can see that the nature of the causal relationship between the two variable is unclear. In the case of hypothesis we will say children whose parents have divorced are more likely to show emotional problems than children whose parents are not divorced. You can see that the nature of the causal relationship between two variables is clear.